Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Literally to the ground. Do not use stamps on me, you bastard. I can see that you have not learned your lessons yet. <sighs> What are you going to do about that, Obwefi? First, you deny me my father's legacy. And then, you literally knock me down with the same powers you are supposed to hand over to me. What else are you going to do, Obwefi? Simply because your father was the upper of Ugume Kingdom does not mean that creatures like you will take the title. The Oba of Ugume Kingdom is earned, not inherited. Take a very good look at me, Obwefi. You see the way I am dressed, the way I ride, on my baby, I am supposed to be the Oba of Ugume Kingdom. Listen, you shameless peacock. Men whose mothers go down with men. A man whose mother enjoys the contentment that is associated with sexualism not become the Oba of an elevated kingdom in the history of the Igbos as Ugume Kingdom. Wait. Wait, Obwefi. Are you trying to tell me that one Yumba Mili is the cause of my problems? Now listen. Contrary to what fools believe and teach, our forefathers loved their women and made them relevant in many ways. They denied them only one thing, masculine. But fools like you, who are consumed by the beauty of women, taught them what masculine is. Get out of my compound now with your ridiculous vehicle and go and sort your problems. What baffles me is the way he terrorizes the whole kingdom simply because of a chieftaincy title. I mean, how can one man be this foolish? You know, sometimes I get so pissed I feel like tackling him head on. At other times, I just decide to leave him and let him wallow in his stupidity. But I know a day will come when I won't be able to take it anymore. Even with his kind of character, anybody who crowns him an Oba is making a huge mistake. He never had any respect for his father, who was actually an Oba. What will happen if he becomes an Oba? The exact question I asked the elders when they came here yesterday. I mean, what does that? Wait, wait. Some elders were here yesterday. For what? Ah, in Mariana. They came here to coerce me, telling me as the leader of the youth that uh, they want me to help talk to the youth and influence them to give him the support he needs so he can become the Oba. Can you imagine that? Mwanze, <laughs> please tell me you said no. I did not say no. I kicked them out of this compound. Yeah. What is even wrong with the others? Are they blind? Can they see that this person in question is a terrorist? Sometimes I feel he has a mental problem. Has any of you noticed how ridiculous he looks on that animal he's riding everywhere? He cannot think. As it is not so obvious that that person has a mental problem. Okay. I mean, who does that? To think he prefers that thing to actual vehicles, even when he inherited a lot of cars from his father. Or Allah. Jukwa. I think 
it is time for us to detail some boys so that they will beat him up. At least make him understand that stupidity is not a way of uh, fighting. No, 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 no. Please, I will not approve of that. Two wrongs don't make a right. For now, let's allow him wallow in his stupidity. If you say so. You say so. Greetings, my chairman. Greetings, our big our big man. Hey. I like you two elders. <laughs> well, this is for you. I'm losing. <laughs> and that is yes, for you. Yeah. And from where this came, there are more. As long as you get the other chiefs, yeah. ask them to support me on my new quest of becoming the other of this great kingdom. And I assure you. I will make you happy for the rest of your life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And our brother. Oh, Jaguna Moya. Hey! Hey! I swear I'm going to to you. Yes, and more. Is it true? I just want to know. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I assure you. My son has gone completely crazy. How could he be that stupid? Calm down. I hold nothing against your son because he's old enough to be my son. I just wanted to know if there's a problem so I can help out. I don't care either way. My problem is that that boy is meddling in my life in the worst way possible. What is wrong with him? Let it go. I am the one who is offended. I have forgiven your son. Calm down, please. You know I love you. Please, Ibezim, save me all that sentimental bullshit. It's not going to put a damp on the anger I feel right now. That guy is taking too much. He's biting more than he can chew. Just let it go. I'm not offended. Look, I have told you to stop calling me. What else do you want me to do for you to, to leave me alone? Move on, I have moved on. Listen, I have forgiven you for what you did to me in the past. You have to stop calling me. I have blocked all your numbers. Stop using unknown numbers to call me, please. This is the last time I warn you. Stop calling me. Move on. I carried this boy in my womb for nine months. Gave birth to him. And went ahead to nurture him and bring him up into the man that he is today. What I don't understand is why I'm being seen as the reason for his misfortune. Abigail, I never intended to insult you as a woman. 
For any man who has no respect for woman is a big fool. Because the woman is the mother of the man. This is not about how you feel. What I don't understand is what you told my son that turned him into a monster that he is today. <laughs> and you know he sees himself as one. Obegedi, you must have done a good job raising your son. But your son did not do a good job raising himself. There comes a time in every human being's life when he or she must know and truly really understand the difference between right and wrong. Your son made his choice. And today he has a soul so dark that the gods of our ancestors cannot name him the next Oba of Uguma Kingdom. A dark soul. What does that even mean? <laughs> I beg you. I understand that being a widow may have made you a single adult. And you feel I want to live your life the way you choose. Stop talking about me. Why are you not answering the question? Human beings must come to a stage where they must take life seriously. You and I are at that stage now. And I must ask, out of these men that are in your life, are you saying that there is not one that you love more than the others? Does it? Why do you call it ridiculous? Listen, in other parts of the country, they could be using animals as means of transportation. But we have never attempted that in Ugume land. And it is so ridiculous for you to think you can introduce it now. Ha! Huh. I see. You do not know how to control your tongue. Anyways, that aside, if I may ask, where are you going to with this thing? To see you. You see, I heard something. Is it true? Well, I heard that you, Mwaze, son of Nkendelem, and the grandson of Wanelo Okudaibube, the custodian of the now rested in some masquerade of Ugume. Always remember that because it's not easy. I do not even care. Well, I gathered that you are going around this kingdom telling people that I am obsessed with becoming a chief and you will not give me the support I need in my newfound quest to become the Oba. So, did I lie? Are you not an obsessed human being? Is it not only obsession that made you jump on this thing, parading the whole village every other day like a madman? As for seeking my support, I, Wanze, will never support you to become Oba of Gume Kingdom. Never! Because you're a useless man. The wild mouth is even getting wilder. Did I lie? Are you not a useless man? 
Okay, if you're not useless, tell me one single thing you have done for Ugume Kingdom since your father died. Who have you helped? What solution have you brought to anything? Who have you assisted? Who have you helped grow in your family? Have you given anybody anything? Let me even bring it down to specifics. What have you done to help yourself as a human being? Other than riding on this thing every Kemake day like a lunatic. Mwaze! How dare you talk to me like that? I am not even done yet. Have you ever looked yourself in the mirror to see how useless you are? Honestly, you are even more useless than a useless man. Mwaze, I will deal with you. Uh -huh. I have received information that you are in the habit of prizing our innocent maids like cheap prostitutes. Listen, if you, know, if you do not desist from that, I will perforate you before you destroy our maidens. Mark my words. You know, go. I will teach you a lesson, I promise. Nani and I bagari, mark my word. I will teach you a lesson. Nakwadimba. Dimba. Dimba nena namor in anya inya. My baby. We need to do something about uh Otau policy. And it has to be fast. Exactly. My problem is how he changed his name to Ezioko Asanya and we allowed it to gain ground. Now the people see him as the face of the truth. So what do we do? I am as confused as you are. Even his nephew has waggled into the office of the youth leader. And that one is behaving like his uncle. We need to do something about it because of the money we are be making in this town. Looking at it critically, do you think Obalo Dikegu will be the next Oba of this kingdom? Do you support him? Let me tell you the truth, my friend. Nobody in this kingdom will support Obalo Dikegu to be the Oba. But we must support him. Because he is a good source of income. He knows how to make money. And he knows how to spend it. I thought I was the only one. That young man paid my daughter's school fees in that expensive university she chose to attend. He called the busser and paid to the final year of my daughter in that university. So who am I to refuse his demand? Exactly. But this our situation is two against two. How do we handle it? How are we going to handle Ichie Oranyelo? <laughs> On the side of all Ichie Oranyelo, Nihobo Bofenkupu, He and his nephew, they are the problems we have. And if our plan must see the light of day, we must take care of them. Yes. Ijoma. My love. How many times have I told you to have my food set before I come home? My love, I did. It, it got cold and I microwaved. Will you shut that your mouth up? If not that you are good in bed, what will I be doing with a woman like you? What? Will you shut up before I slap you and blind your eyes?
I hope this food tastes good as it looks. like it. I love it. Come, 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 come. Sit by my side. Sit. Huh. Mm. Very good, very good. Who is that? Why don't you take the call and tell the person it is the wrong number? My love, don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. Ijana. Do you take me for a fool? So why didn't you take the call that came to your phone? I... It's nothing. We're talking about you! Oh. Please, please, please. You are cheating on me. No, I'm not cheating on you. You joke. You are cheating on me! No, my love, I'm not cheating on you. You see that boy? I am going to find him. And when I find him, I am going to kill him. And every member of his family. You think you can take me for a fool? Huh? Rubbish. my son but it's enough that's enough I love him isn't that enough it should be but love is not supposed to be cruel he loves me and I'm very sure about that Ijama I know what I'm saying Mother look stop stop stressing yourself about us we love each other and that's all that matters. God knows I will always say the truth. Ibezim! Ibezim! What's that bastard? I mean that fool! That animal! Come outside, Ibezim! I said, come out! Akonuchi, what is the meaning of all this? You think you can eat a cake and have it? How dare you? How dare you? Akonuchi, how do you come into my house and scream me for things I have no knowledge about? <laughs> this is a problem. You feel so proud of yourself that you think you can have anything you want in this life, including the property of others. Property? What property? Yes, you heard me very well, Ibezim. Property. How dare you? How can you come into my house screaming? 
and accusing me of things I do not know anything about. Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Ibezim, I am not a fool. Akonoche, I do not know what you're talking about. Do you think I'm a fool? I'm not! You better start explaining or you get out of my house right now. I will. But I thought I must kill you! Get out now! I will. I will. But don't think it's over. You think you can get everything that belongs to me over my dead body? I said over my dead body! Can you imagine this nonsense? Ibezim, how can you even be asking me that question? How many times have I told you I don't have anything with Akonuche? Why are we even discussing this? What about Ndoka, Omenka, Barry White, AGK? You also do not have any relationship with these men? I don't like this. I do not like it at all. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm in the court? Ibezim, is there something you want to tell me? Nothing. I only seek the truth. That's all. Did any of those men confront you? I am a man who can withstand any confrontation whatsoever. So I am not scared. So then? They did confront you. You just confirmed it. I didn't say yes. Neither did you say no. Abiyageli, if you say you do not have any relationship with these men, I believe you. I believe you absolutely. I just wanted to be sure. That's all. Just like that. Just like that, my dear. You know how much I love you. Are you, are you, are you serious? Uh, you know what? I am coming. I told you I will be back. Didn't I? Why are you digging your grave? No, why are you playing with death? The people you said they succeeded in bringing me here because they attacked me from, 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 from the blind angle. Now that you have shown yourself face to face to me, you are going to discover rudely why the dreaded in so much brother Fukume was arrested. You are talking arrant nonsense! There is something in Ukume mightier than the masculine. Whether arrested or fortune, that thing is me! Alusi of Baludi Kebu, the dreaded. Now finish it. Hey. Ah! 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 ah. What? My hand! My hand! What happened to your hand? Ah! You are shouting your hand, your hand! What is it? Ah! Are you blind? Or you're just stupid? Can't you see? So what? Are you not a man? Can't you endure play? <laughs> Finish what you have started! <laughs> hey! Come back here and 
finish what you are starting! You bastard. I promise you. Say I followed my instincts just to, to walk through this path. But but what happened to you? Who did this? Thank God that uh, Obaludikegu and his talks did not succeed. Obaludikegu did this to you, Ichi. Uh, like I said, they did not succeed. Hey! I am with my sheep. Where is that useless man? Ogwefi! Ogwefi! Where is that useless man? Ogwefi! Come out here! You have failed! Oh! Ogwefi! You have failed! I would have taught you the lesson of your life if you had come here with that worthless animal today. Ogwefi! I said you have failed! You may have won the battle, but you have not won the war. There is still a war ahead. You have failed. So this is what you do, Obuefi. Distributing charms to the men of this kingdom to use against me. Oba Ininya. Obuefi, you have failed. You have completely failed. I am still trying to understand why you are here. Okay. Well, I came here to make an announcement and they sound a note of warning. I am going to become the Oba of this kingdom, whether you like it or not. People don't become Oba in Ugume kingdom by merely wishing. Oba of Ugume follows a rigorous process and you are far from the basic qualification. I will kill you. Obwevi, I will kill you. I am very sure you do not know who I am. I am Oba Ludikegu, the Oba Inya. I have conquered the Republic of Congo, conquered Zimbabwe, conquered Kenya, and I will conquer this kingdom. I said I will kill you. I will look for the best knife in the whole planet, and I will kill you. Stop! You lousy son of a good man. I thought you were going to learn your lessons, but no. Don't push it too far. Obwefi, I am going to push it even further. I will be back. And you will live here in a body bag. Don't say I did not warn you. Obwefi, don't say I did not warn you. Okay. I don't know why you are looking so tense. And I don't know why you are pacing up now. But as I'm telling you, listen, there is no cause for alarm. I am here. Don't happen to me. Okay? That idiot. That idiot laid his filthy hands on my uncle. Why does this guy like triggering me? Why? And as, as I've been saying and you keep ignoring me, nobody succeeded in laying their hands on me today. But there was a kidnap. They succeeded in kidnapping my uncle. The only positive voice that speaks in Ugume, that is the voice they want to silence. I may ignore everything, but this, sir, I will not. And what are you, where are you going? Manse! Manse, where are you going? Come back here, Manse! Manse! Sorry, he'll be fine. Ichi, thank you for coming. I don't know what I would have done without you. <sighs> Let's give thanks to the gods. You say you don't know what happened to him. 
He hasn't said anything. And Obi is not at home yet? She's not home. I don't know what she'll do if she comes back and meets him like this. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I'm just, just confused. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Hmm? I assure you, you'll be fine. Akonoche, the fact that I had something to do with you in the past does not give you the right to think you own me. <laughs> Why did you go to harass Ibezim? Why would you do that? Is that what you told you that I, Chief Akonoche, harassed him? Are you trying to deny it? Oh, you believe him over me? Are you not going to whine like a woman? Abegadi, don't you ever insult me. Hey, 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 old man. You're too old for this. What was I even thinking when I decided to have something to do with someone like you? I am done with you. Get that into your head. And let me tell you, stay away from me. Stay away from me, Bezim. I am warning you. <laughs> Hello? I can hear you. What? Hey, yeah. You stop one side of my late brother. What have you been up to? Can you start talking? Uncle, I was not expecting to meet you here. Can I move in now? You are not going to move in. Listen, I need to tell you something. There is no child of our extended one alone, Uncle Ebe family that is expected to be, to be violent. Why are you this violent? And why are you not talking to me? What have you been up to? A violent man would have killed somebody today. But I did not, Uncle. So just give me some peace. The whole weight of the extended one day long could die with a family is on my shoulder. And I will never, ever underestimate that. Dear Queen Nazi, no matter what you try, no matter what you do, Dear Queen Nazi, no matter what you try. Back. Yes. Mama, welcome. What happened to him? I don't know. He hasn't said anything. I see. There is nothing to worry about. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay. Um, is there anything I can do for you? Uh, Mama, he came to help me out with him. Oh, I see. But Tichi, you shouldn't have bothered. There is absolutely nothing to worry about here. Yeah. <laughs> I must confess. This is not the reaction I expected from you. Well, Ichie, to see him like this, it's not surprising to me. Yes. You know, I just came in. If you don't mind, I need to go rest because I'm very tired. No matter what you try, no matter what you do to him, he can never die. This one you're rushing past me, I think it is. Uh, greetings, you share. Greetings, greetings. Why did you not greet me in the first place? But I just greeted you. Oh, the way somebody will greet a stranger. Listen, eh, a man eh, may have committed a crime. I am on my way to go and rectify it. Excuse me. Does it have anything to do with our self-imposed uh, obeying? How, how? How do you know? Oh, on my way, I saw one Zen came to him with a furious look on his face. And I ran to Obalali Keigo. I saw wounds and injuries on his body. I put one and two together. Hmm? Hi. I knew it. I knew that one day we put me in trouble. I knew it. I oh, knew oh, my it. brother, hold on. Not the kind of trouble you need to worry. The injuries were mild. In fact, when I saw the level of injury, I was wondering why a full grown man will allow a woman to nurse him on the ground like a baby. Wait. Are you saying everything is okay? Perfect. No problem. In fact, the mother gave him a piece of her words. The mother didn't tolerate that nonsense. She gave it to him. Because the mother knows that he is a madman. And the mother of a madman knows the son is mad. 
do you know my brother? Today I knew the quality of that woman. Despite all that has been said about her character, I discovered she was a very sincere and truthful person. You see, you don't need to worry. You see, having seen all that happened, and knowing that Obaladi Kegu is a terrorist, I wouldn't even bother to ask what transpired between him and your nephew. Uh, my brother, go home and rest. You don't need to worry. Hmm? Everything is okay. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, where is he? We have finally succeeded in killing him. Hey, hey, where are you? Hey, where is he? Hey, the worst has happened. Hey. The worst of the accidents has happened. Hey, hey. will you only shut up? Shut up, both of you. What is wrong? Are you men okay? No self-respecting elder will enter a compound that is not his and be shouting and ranting like a mad dog. Does this place look like a market square to you? Yes, I said shut up! We had what happened and that's why we're here. And what exactly did you do? That woman is dead of course. Then you both are not just stupid but blind as well. I am sure you can see him sitting over there. Why are you fighting? Hey! Open your shower to go get up. You can't be a Thank you. He's alive. Thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, the noise is becoming too much. You mean yes? Leave. Okay, we will leave. Eh? Uh, 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 get well soon. Why are you? Oh, yeah. Can you, you leave, leave this place? May, may, may you live long, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oba! He's hey! alive! Oba! Oba, anything for us? <laughs> Oba is the one! Hey! Oba! You can give us some. Don't worry. Let's go. Let's go. Don't worry. We'll come back. Good for nothing. Why are you fighting the community? Those are the caliber of men that flock around you. Fool. Useless boy. I can't believe this. Do you see how he looks? Wise and Kentilim really did a great job on him. Hey! No, no, no. This is for Wise and Kentilim. Yes, yes, yes. See, I thought he was dead. Everyone thought he, he is dead. And that is why I insisted that we must go see him ourselves. <laughs> but I am glad we did. With a little disappointment that he didn't die. What do you mean? Do you want us to lose our source of income? Ha! Ha! That idiot disappointed us. He insulted us! Hmm. Eh? Denying us money! Don't be stupid. When he called, oh, he needs us because money will come. <laughs> if you ask me, I will give my total support to Wanze. If he decides to be the Oba of Ugume Kingdom. Likewise, myself. <laughs> Seeing what he did to that fool. <laughs> Look at him. The number one cause of our problems. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> hey. Moving as if he's the, he's the owner of the entire kingdom. Hmm. Eh? 
Ya bara go bago. Oka ya bada. Kai chiru. E ba ya wonwe chere zu. Unyala. Ichezi o kwasa ya. You don't need to worry yourself. Vincent is fine. <laughs> yes. Ah, no, 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 no. There's no need taking him to hospital. He got a little of what he deserved. Please concentrate on something that is more important. Forget about Vincent. Ichi, you're such a good man. May the gods reward you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Why didn't one in Kentlin break one of his hands or legs? Or give him a scar, a deadly scar on the face that he will live with it all the rest of his life? He's less boy. This is just the beginning. Are you absolutely sure of this news? Over in Nina, sir. He gave up the ghosts before us. He saw it. Good. 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 <laughs> Good. This, this is the best news I've heard in a long while. Good. <laughs> now, yes. This is for the both of you. Okay? Oba Nina sir. Chai. Good. It is well, my friend. It is well. I can't believe this. Obivo Kona, I just can't believe this. It is well. So what am I going to do now? Nothing. Sometimes it is just right for men to relax and allow the gods to do what they know how to do best. Or have you joined those who believe that the gods of Ugume are dead? Ah, oh, never. But for corner, you know me so well. Yeah, there is no way I can, I, can, I, can, I can join men that are saying something like that. It is, it's not possible. I, but I just... I just can't believe this. Please stop calling me. I have told you countlessly that I am not interested. Leave me.
me alone. No, I am not going to listen to whatever you want to tell me. Stop disturbing me. Goodbye. Ijoma. For how long? For how long will you continue to do this to yourself? I will keep repeating it. You can do better than my son. Vincent is a beast. He doesn't deserve a woman like you. Young man, are you insane? I said you will not go near her again. She is no longer your woman and you are no longer her man. Your relationship with her is over. And who are you to tell me that? Hmm. Who am I to tell you that? Itchy. Do you understand that? Why are you fighting your Is that any of your business? Well, it is. If you are going to see one of your numerous men. I have warned you time and again to mind how you speak to me. Well, unfortunately, Mama, after today, I will be the only man you have in your life. I beg your pardon. What do you even mean by that? You name me Vincent. I got rid of the slave name and called myself Alusio Obaludike. Everybody accepted it, except my mother. She calls me a beast. And that is who you are. A beast. A beast who does not know when to stop. Then I will continue to be a beast. Until I consume everyone that has to be consumed. Young man, I am a retired police officer. You cannot come into my house and be threatening me with a weapon. I am the man with a weapon. An officer should know better than to be trashed with a man with a weapon. You better leave my house now or you will regret it. Old man, I have only come to warn you. And self-reputation is not one of my strongest suits. It would be in your best interest to hearken to the voice of reason and stay off the beach. She is not a bitch, and I am not staying off her. You, or whoever sent you, is not strong enough to warn me off a woman. Oh, we can. And if you insist on provoking me, I just might show you an example of what you will be getting should you fail to heed my warnings. I dare you to try. What happened? Do you know how long I've been wait waiting for you? Oh, you did? What do you mean by that? Have you forgotten we're supposed to sit today? No, I didn't. Uh, just that I didn't know I was still being inspected. <laughs> I don't understand. What exactly are you saying? You don't know. If I knew, why would I be asking you? Is there something wrong? Talk to me now. I don't understand. Anyway, I received an unexpected visitor today. Someone I suppose should be in the employ of your son. He came to warn me today. What did he do? What, what, what did he say? 
Um, he didn't say anything, just that he came to demonstrate to me what I'll be expecting. Should I ever come close to you again? What? Oh my goodness. What did he do to you? The question is not what he did to me. The question actually is, what did I do to him? He pays him, what have you done? What in God's name is this? That man, Trufi Bezim, is a very evil man. You mean he did this to you? Someone that was sent to go and warn, who almost killed me. This is not good. This is not good. Should we not call up Balodike Ego and tell him? Tell him what? That we failed again. So what do you want to do? The man keeps sending us into, into the dangerous situation. Huh? Uh, Obi. <coughs> the only thing I want to do now is to go home and get treated. Can you be kind enough to take me over like that, please? <coughs> I think sorry, sorry, sorry. The nerve of that boy. Ibezim, please forgive me. It is all my fault. And I'm going to do something about it. Okay, where are you going to? To put an end to all of this once and for all. This is becoming too much. Oh, be calm. Not in me! No, don't go. Please, come. Mama, please, Mama, please, please. Mama, Mama, you can't do this. Mama, Mama, please, you can't do this. Mama. Mama, you are annoying me. Let me go. Mama, please stay. Please, I beg you. Mama, Mama, please. Mama, you can't stop me. I don't want to push you. Leave my box. I came to tell you that um, I am tired of that boy. I am tired of that beast called the son. And I'm traveling back to my father's house. Has it got to that? <laughs> that boy wants to control my life. He wants to frustrate me. He wants to make my life miserable. Just because he wants to become the upper of this kingdom. I can't take that anymore. Honestly, I didn't know it's this serious. It has gone beyond that. And I'm not going to spend another night in that house. After all, my husband is dead. I owe nobody nothing. Why can't he allow me to be happy? It's okay, Obiagali. Come, let's go. You don't understand what I'm saying. I am never going back to that house. Never. Do, do you know he always refers to me as who I am, Bamili? But that is silly. You are from here. My mother is from Mbamele. Therefore, I am from Mbamele. Obiagali, listen to me and listen very well. Hmm? You were once married to Oba of Ogume. Eh? That means you're a titled woman of this land. But your son, Obaludike Egu, he is not a titled man. Nobody gave him any title. Let it not be reported that a titled woman ran out of the house from a man who is not titled. Mba, oh Alo. Huh? Stay in this land. Stay in your house. Okay. The elders in council gave him no title. Mm -hmm. We never did. He gave himself the title Alose Obaludikegu. <laughs> and he, he just referred to him as that. So that means he's accepted. You people have accepted it. I am done with this discussion, please. No, no, Obiag Listen, nobody accept. Obiageli? Obiageli? Hey! What kind of thing is this? I 
I can't believe you're just lying here. While your mother is back to her father's house. What will people say? Abaludike, get up from here and do something. Alusi Obaludike Ego triggers fear in mortals. And they must run at the sight of me. Look, I don't have a problem with you triggering fear in people and forcing them to scram. But this is your mother we're talking about here. You need to do something. Are you sure that is what you want me to do? Get up from here. Yes! Obaludike, get up from here and go after the woman that gave birth to you. She doesn't deserve this at all. You should think very well before you talk. Do you really want Obaludike to get up from here? What is wrong with this one? You're asking me stupid question. I said get up from here and go and do something. Be a man, my friend. Nonsense. If you say so. Greetings, Ichie. Look, this rubbish must stop. This rubbish must stop now. Uh, Ichie, is everything all right? Look, I just have a question for both of you. Just one question. Uh, okay, well, all yes. Is Obaludike a member of your age grade? Yes, he is, Ichie. Then why is he terrorizing everyone in this kingdom like a dangerous king? Why? Ichie. Everybody knows that Obarudike is a madman or a troublemaker. Uh, but you sound as if something has happened. Obiagili, his mother has gone back to her father's house. What? Huh? You heard me right. If he's indeed a member of your age grade, you people have to put him to check. You have to discipline him. This madness must stop. Put him to check. It's all right, Ichie. We've heard you. Yes. We will do just that. Thank you. Please do. You just don't have to worry yourself again, okay? We'll take care of it. Okay, Ichie. It's okay. Hey. Huh. What type of bad news is this? Hmm? There is big abomination, Miss Abomination. Chai! I can't still believe it. My brother, this is the last time I will wish my worst enemy. No family deserves to bury their young. Mbano! Oh dear, meme. It is your question, yeah. It has happened. So take heart. I believe that uh, his remains has been taken to the mortuary. When are, when are you planning to bury him properly? Well, his remains was not um, taken to the mortuary. If not taken to the mortuary, where is it? Are you making us to believe that uh, you, you just buried him like that? Then where, where, where is the grave? It is your question. You are not saying anything. Why, 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 why are you silent? If your nephew is dead and buried, or not buried. Where, 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 where is the remains? Where is he? I have seen a ghost. I never caught him. I said, it's a ghost, though. I've seen a ghost. Open the door. Open the door. Are you still there? Open the door. No, don't. Open the door. I'm going to come in. I 
I don't have time discussing anything concerning Vincent. He's allowed to wallow in his stupidity. <laughs> when the time comes, he will know I am that woman from Mbamili, as he always calls me. And what is wrong? You coming from Mbamili. What is wrong with that? We have our women married to Mbamili people. And Mbamili women married to us. And there are excellent and good people. So anyone raising the argument of Mbamili thing is just a fool. You understand it that way. But my son, Vincent, is a taboo to him for me to come from Mbamili. Well, thank you guys for everything. I really do appreciate it. I have moved out and I am not going back. See, we know you've left the house already. But we're pleading with you to please just come with us. See, our elders used to say, if you do not resist the people that created an illegal track road in your backyard, soon that track road will become a major road. And if it becomes a known road, you have a problem. So the least we can do is to close that road and close it fast. Yes. You guys are speaking in parables. My mind is made up. Okay, fine. If your mind is really made up, the least you can do is to come with us and listen to what everyone has to say. Everyone. What do you mean by everyone? No matter what the problem is, the onions must eat color. Just tell me, how can love, so sincere, suddenly make a man ang so angry and miserable? Hmm. Your relationship with Obegeli is causing your problem, right? That's not exactly why I'm here. So why are you here? What if I want you to tell me? Will Obiagili come to love me the way I love her? This thing we have, the battles I have to fight, are they worth it? Please tell me. Even I cannot provide answers to questions that has to do with matters of the heart. So I have been wasting my time making a fool of myself. Tell me. That's not what I said. But what I'm going to say now is basically what you have said already. You alone know your heart. You alone know how strong it is. You alone know the person you are dealing with and know if it is worth it. That's all I can say for now. So you haven't heard? Heard what? I can't even say it because I don't want to believe it. <clears throat> what are you talking about? So really you haven't heard? Oh boy, if you want to talk, talk, what are you talking about? I don't know. <sighs> it's about the person we killed. Uh huh. What about it? That's a done deal, a close chapter. Why are you making reference to it? Oh, Ah, Have you lost respect for the armor of this great kingdom? What is it? A ghost! A ghost. We saw it. I do not understand. What do you mean you saw a ghost? 
That is the name. So what you two are trying to tell me right now is that you saw a ghost and that ghost is Marcy. You came to live, yes. Yes. Politica, we know what we saw and we are sad about it. Look at you. You are not even sure of yourself. How then can you be sure you saw a ghost? His uncle was there. He also saw the ghost. You two are not even serious. Please, can you kindly leave my gate? I do not have time for this kind of discussion. you can do that to a woman coming from another monster who have lost count of how many times she slapped me why are you bummily why are you back she is back because i asked her to do so <laughs> my name is wanze the grandson of wanilo okudaibu custodian of the now rested in some masquerade of war. I warned you, Vincent. Didn't I? So this is true. I am going to do something that will remind you exactly where you are and not to batch in whenever you want. Shut up, Obuefi, and tell me the meaning of that stunt you pulled at my house. You want me to believe I saw a ghost, Obuefi. You failed. You totally failed, Obuefi. If I am to guess right, you speak of Mwanze in Kendalim. You see? You see yourself, Obuefi. I have always known you are the king maker of dirty games. You have failed. Well, if you are talking about ones in Kendalim, he is alive. You lie, Obufu. Oh yes, you lie. I know you. You are a liar. As a matter of fact, the king liar. You are not the man you make people believe you are. <sighs> what happened to him? We have no idea, Wifi. We found him like this. This young man here is the only surviving son of my late brother. I see him as my son, and in our family, we consider him to be the star of the family. Calm down, Ichi. A lot of things are involved in this. They wickedly left him with little or no life. 
How can a human being survive this? How? If his chi has not approved his death, he will not die. Obefo Kuna, as you can see, he is dead. I just want you to use your power to tell me the people that are involved in this. That's all. The line between life and death is very thin. Very, very thin. What do you mean by that? The grandson of one Eloa could die if he would not die. What? what? I will fetch him the sacred water from Apalata or Unidibia. He will not die. Resin. Killers can only kill one who has abandoned his chief. No killer can kill the one that is standing with his chief. Are you trying to tell me that he survived that? If you forget everything, don't ever forget that I am the chief priest of Ugume and the minister in charge of the sacred waters of Apalata Oyilidibia. Get out of my company. I can't believe my son tried to kill someone. Hmm. It's okay, Mama. At least I survived. Thank you. Although it's within your rights. But you didn't try to arrest him or retaliate for whatever he did to you. Thank you. No, no, it's nothing. My joy and what is most important is that you are back to your house and safe. Thank you for bringing me home. You're welcome. And please, Mama, do not hesitate to ask for any help anytime you need it. Whatever it is. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I would be on my way now. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye right. again. Okay? Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. I can't believe I fell in love with the kind of man Vincent turned out to be. I can't believe the man I intend to get married to is capable of killing someone. He is a murderer, he's evil. I can't believe this. Seeing a ghost twice in a day. A ghost twice in a day. I, for once, think he's coming after us for a reason. Hey. What reason? All the bad things we've ever done. All the money we'll collect from uh, about the DKU. Yes. Hey. I think it's a payback time for us. Hey. How? Hey. Did you go to my big gun? You better. What? Hey! Not again. Hey! What happened to him? Please don't kill me, I have children. Hey, hey, please, please. What happened to him? Please don't kill me, I have children. Please, please. Don't I'm not kill me. dead. Are you not dead? I'm not dead, dead. Uh, Who says I'm dead? What happened to him? So you are not going to, to kill me? I'm not. Listen, 
I may hate your politics, but I have no intention of killing anybody. Ah. I'm alive. Look at me. You can confirm for yourself. Look at me. Ah. Have I vanished now? So what is he doing on the floor? You? Me? Yes. Considering the fact that uh, we thought that you are dead. So, as I saw you, this thing happened. Are you okay? Yeah. I see. Hey! Where am I going? Hey! What is it? He is not dead. What do you mean by he's not dead? He is alive. Both of you need help. He's alive. He's alive. Eh? He's alive. See, I I I heard his hands. Eh? Listen, Okudili. Eh, Obeliduke Egu failed. Once he's alive. He's alive! Hey. What is it? Why can't you allow me to be in peace? What is it? Hey, man. Why are you Why are you this man village? <laughs> Oni butuka. Oya bota kwa mo go mo da mo bugu ya. Amaluke mezi bota wo ga zi mo bugu ya ga wo pa. This is really good. You see, you are indeed a woman who fits and suits the kitchen. I am a very lucky man. Ha <laughs> ha! That is why I call you my wife. Mm. Did you really do it? Do what? Did you try to kill Wanze? If I did, what is your business with that? What? You heard me. If I try to kill a person, what business do you have with that? Look, I don't want to believe I fell in love with a murderer. Are you ah! mad? Vincent, you are the one that is mad. What is wrong with you? Have you lost your mind or you are on some cheap drug? I heard the sound of that slap from my bedroom. Stay out of this, you old rat. Call me names again and you will receive your own slap. Try it! Call me names again and I will show you that I'm your mother. I carried in my room for nine months. Try it! What? Mama, take it Just get into your room. Get into your room now. Oh, Mama, you have been the one teaching her to disrespect me. You are her coach. Yes, 
Just the way I taught her to prepare this special dish for you, only for her to receive a slap. You know what? Enough. Mama, do not play with my food, please. I beg you. Vincent, I have not even started. Hmm. For slapping that woman, you deserve to die of hunger. Mama, hmm? you want me to die of hunger in my Dare own me. house? Dare me, Vincent! Dare me to collect this food! Fool! Useless boy! These bitches have joined forces. Up the guns to choose, and you are fighting. This is madness. You are attracting the wrath of the gods upon yourself. Why are you fighting? My way from your house. What do you want? What do you want? What I want is your head. Excuse me. <laughs> well, maybe not today. But I assure you very soon, I will have your head on a cheap platter if you do not allow me to become the over in peace. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? <laughs> EJ! I have better people to threaten. What? Where is all this leading to? EJ! I believe your daughter Ngozi is in school at this moment. I beg your pardon. What has my daughter got to do with this madness? What? <laughs> well, I have people who have eyes on her. And I assure you, I know what she'll be doing in the next year. How dare you? How dare you? Don't you dare. I have people who are keeping an eye on your daughter. And any time I make a phone call through, they will do whatever I command them. Please leave my daughter out of this. Leave my daughter out of this. Please. Leave the innocent girl. Leave her out of your ambition, please. Please. Why are you I don't understand why you are this agitated. Are you not going to calm down? You have to calm down and get a grip of yourself before you fuss it. Did you hear what I told you? He is going to kill my daughter, my only child. He will not. Who says? You? Please. You need to understand how this life functions. There is no human being who will go confessing to a crime before he commits it. It doesn't happen. And he wanted to kill you. Yes, but as you know... And he wanted to kill your nephew too. Why are you saying this? But we both survived. 
It goes to show that the gods of this land are functioning. They are on our side and nothing will happen. My goodness, can you listen to yourself? I don't even know what I'm doing here in the first place. Look, I think I should leave this place. For it? I'm going to do what? You sure, Daniel? You sure, Daniel? You have to calm down before you play into his hands. As long as I live, as long as the gods of our ancestors live, nothing is going to happen to you. Obefi, that is not why I am here. I have given my full support to Obaludi Kegu to be the next Oba of this kingdom. I beg your pardon. Look, I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. I don't care what you think of me. That will not change anything. Nothing. It will not change anything at all. What do you mean by that? Look, you are not the reason why he is not Oba. The gods of our ancestors do not support him. Then I make know. them support him. Make them support him. Ichi, cool down and sit down. Cool down, please. Calm down. Eh? That boy is... Oh, Wilfi, listen to me. If anything happens to my only child, my daughter, I will hold you responsible. You will have me to contend with. Listen to me. I will strangle you with my bare hands. I will strangle my bear. If I happen to my daughter. Hmm. They continue to undermine the abilities of the gods. I'm very sorry. Wait. How can you even do this? You didn't check up on me. You didn't even come to visit to know how I was doing. Would you have wanted me to, when you specifically told me never to come looking for you at your father's house? I never did. But you turned down my marriage proposals. Here we go again. And you know we are not teenagers. And besides, our relationship is not a secret around town. So why don't we go forward and legalize it? Ibezi, I have told you, stop pressurizing me. And yet, you were angry. I didn't come looking for you. Ibezim, everything is not about marriage. Besides, my husband just died. Your husband died two years ago. And two years is a long time for you. It's a long time for everybody. Well, it is not a long time for me. And contrary to what people think, I loved my late husband despite the age difference. So please, two years is not long enough for me to swear allegiance to any man. Abiyageli, I wish you understand how much I love you. <laughs> I know, but... He is beginning to bite more than he can chew. He is beginning to cross boundaries and we need to cut him down to size urgently. The issue here is that Obalodi Kegu is desperate to emerge. The Oba of this kingdom and he is working so hard to achieve that very useless objective. That is not possible. I agree with you completely and we are going to stop him. But why can't Ichi or Anil go to that school? and make a report at any police station close by. Or better still tell the school board that his daughter is in danger. Exactly the advice I wanted to give him. But he would not even come down and listen to me. But let me tell you something. The Baludike Wu is just fooling himself. No matter what he does, no matter the extent he will go, no matter the amount of sacrifice he will ever make, Obaludi Kegu will never emerge the Oba of Ogume Kingdom. Never. 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 Uncle, is it just me or are you? Are you in any way sounding like there is more to this you know than you are telling me? Hmm. What's that? Can you sit down? If there is anything, 
you are going to do now, it is to go and look for a woman you will make your wife. You are old enough to be married. Don't deviate from the topic. What do you know about this that you are not telling me? Okay. Whatever thing that I know that you should know uh, should be known by you when the time comes and um, that is when you have shown us the woman you will make your wife. I think I have the solution. I know I came to the right place. Of course you did. Have you never heard of Chupu Kadibia, the king of chance? Have you never heard of Chupu Kadibia, the fearless lion of the jungle? The tiger that looks straight into the lion's eyes and tells the lion, you are not the king of the jungle. <laughs> I know exactly what you can do. Please help me. I am dying slowly. If I fail to tame that woman, she will cripple everything I have done. <laughs> Don't worry. I am going to prepare a pot of sham for you that will banish sexual odds from your mother. It will happen naturally and nobody will suspect anything. That which you seek shall be given to you without stress. A problem. Impressive. Why didn't I think about this all this while? <laughs> well, it can only be because I am the best at what I do. You came highly recommended. Now I see why you are who you are. I am ready. How much is this going to cost? <sighs> well, money is not the problem yet. I am about to expose you to a high dimension metaphysical process and you must make up your mind for it. Well, my mind is made up. Let the metaphysical process begin. Listen, it will shock you the way it will just wait for me. Oh, Biangeli. Why in Bamili? From this day henceforth, your body will become a repellent to men. The next man that sees your nakedness will go blind and you will never have sexual urge again until I become the upper of Ugume Kingdom. with these guys right in the middle of the road where everyone can see it i couldn't believe it that this man is crazy until the news spread everywhere this morning that he was sighted performing rituals at our central junction well whatever madness he has it will come to an end today sure sure can you imagine this madness right in the central junction eh? We must do something about this. I know what to do about it. Manze! Manze! Are you insane? Why you touch that thing? Even with his bare hands. Manze, there are things you must not do. And this is one of it. Manze! Manze! It's closed. Manze, how sure are you that whatsoever he conjured in this port can die in fire? And how are you even sure that all the possible demons conjured into this pod did not possess you when you were carrying it. My name is Wanze. 
son of Nkem de Limo Koye Mesuo, the grandson of Nwane Lo Okudai Bube, the custodian of the old Nsom masquerade. If any charm conjured by a mere mortal can harm me, then I am not a true descendant of those men. Hey! I have officially become afraid of you. Nwanze. Otiyohole <laughs> Who is doing this to me? How dare him? Me? Hmm? <sighs> what nonsense? <sighs> I am Akateshiba Koko. Whoever that tries to challenge me, show your face. Who's that, the Gigi fella? Who's that, the Gigi fella? I have asked around and I have confirmed that you are the enemy of my peace. The one who has destroyed that which I kept is that place your father's land. I will kill you. <laughs> you have tried before, remember. What makes you think you will succeed this time? Ah! Mm. Is that a way of saying you now consider yourself indestructible? Then okay. You act before you think. And that is why you will continue to remain a perpetual failure. I tell you on this day. In fact, I put my feet on the ground. As long as it remains, you will never be the other of the kingdom. Mark my words. Ah! I see they have initiated you. So you think you can scare me with your local abracadabra you practice here in Ugume land. I will become the Oba of this kingdom. Watch and see. You will always be that in your dream. Oh, don't ever call me that again. I am Alusi Obaludike Ugu. 
I will bend everybody and become the over of this great kingdom. Listen, you may succeed in bending everybody, including bending the chief priest, but you cannot bend me. And my singular opposition will be the last nail on your coffin. It is a good thing you mentioned coffin. Because it is you who will be lower. Have a good day. Everybody is always welcome to my house, including idiots. You think I am a fool? You think I have nothing better to do with my time? Or your pocket is so big, so full, that I, Chuku Kalibia, that I cannot resist your presence in my home. Chuku Kalibia, please, calm down. I do not know why you are flaring up. But if you can calm down, I will explain everything to you. I am trying to understand the importance of your explanation, but I cannot get anything. I can't see anything in your explanation. What are you trying to tell me? When you cannot keep simple instruction and you are telling me to calm down. I kept your instruction. I did every single thing you asked me to do. But apparently, I have enemies in Ugume Kingdom. People who hate me more than the devil himself. Ibe Ndeji Obobo. Ibe Ndeji Obobo. Are you trying to tell me that someone dare to tamper with my pot of sham? Now we are on the same page. He took away the pot. Even though I did not keep it on his father's land, he even had the gods to boast before me. Telling me I will never become the Oba of Ugube Kingdom. He that touches the tail of a lion. Listen. Agola la hola. Oyen zuzu ala matriarch se ni abochuku. Kajo mo nyen zuzu mo bo ya abochuku. Anjukura nyen zuzu mo geji di kuku aka. Oyen zuzu ga ti ta ja de na Anybody that touches the tail of a tiger. That person touch the tiger lo moya. Chuku Karibia. I heard you were a god on earth. What are we going to do? Abu mi bu na bu mbada. Ana me tell anya wa ka mbwa. Aka ka sri ga ka mbwa na ma to gari ufu, ana ma to gari ofri, ana me ri mbwa kra furu do ufu. Ana me amu ye buru no no mu abo ku de na ma pun ka po afo. Ifu na ala lo za ala lo li wala ofia. Who is that person that come out to challenge his chief? <laughs> ah. Now, look at this spot. Onyo bona se ni isi na awaya. Onyo bona se ni ana anyonsoy. No toro la awaya nante. Aga me kosiya ihe. Listen, you see this spot. Anybody who dares to touch this spot. That person will get a bite from each of these snacks. So have it. <laughs> Chuku Karibia, this is what I want. If possible, let there be a python to swallow that fool. Try and see. Anybody is in our world. If that person has the guts, if that person has the mind, the impetus plus audacity to touch this part, <laughs> the same person will see more than a bite on. You can go.
Mwanze, mkendile mu. I am doing this in the daytime so that people can see me. And so they can get the news to you. What is it? Slow down, Wanzi. Don't you think this might be a trap? A very deadly one at that. I don't care. I don't care if it's a trap. I am the leader of the youths of Ugume Kingdom and nobody dares me. Nobody. Wanzi in Kendelem. You are not thinking. You are just acting. You are not thinking. Exactly. Any wise man on earth should know that the character you are exhibiting can be very dangerous. I did not call you for this. I'm going on this alone, and I don't want to be distracted. Mwanze, Mwanze, see, this is not about distraction. It's about your life. The fact that Vincent elected to do this on a broad daylight is the reason that he's up to something. Let's avoid that junction for now. I appreciate your concern. But I am Mwanze. I am from the family of Unsaw Masquerade. And nothing stops us when we have put our minds to something. But this is so masquerade has been put to rest. Why not listen to somebody? Why not listen to us? The masquerade has been put to rest. But the masquerade has not rested. For it is standing before you both in flesh and blood. Okay? Stay back and allow me to follow my conviction. If he has become a masquerade, then we cannot abandon our masquerade halfway. Let's go, Ja. Let's go. Wait, oh, wait. There you are. So you are back. Oh yes, I am back. And this time I am not leaving without my property. So you now see the offer of our ancestors as your personal property. Oh, wait. The offer belongs to my father. And you see, it now belongs to me. So give me my property, now. Each time you open your mouth, you talk like a fool. Obuefi, don't test my patience. Don't, Obuefi. Okay, Mr. Fool, let me ask you. Does this your newly found confidence has it anything to do with the second pot of charge you left at the central junction? What if he does a wave? And what is your plan? What are you planning, a wave? Let me advise you. I have taken precaution just in case you make any step to touch that pot. You are gone. So you expect Mwanze, the son of Unkendling? be a dead man. If Mwanze is foolish enough to touch that force, trust me, he will join his ancestors today. <laughs> what is funny, Obwefi? No, tell me, ah. what is funny about what I just told you? Seeing is believing. Well, Mr. Moke, why not go and see? Are we not supposed to be setting this pot on fire? You, 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 you cradle it like a baby. It's not a baby. I am not going to set it on fire this time. Okay? I want to rub it in that idiot's face that thinks he can come out with another pot. So that he will get it. What? Hey! What is it? 
once. You just freed the demons into Ugume. And it's not right now. I know exactly what is going through your damaged head. You are wondering why I'm still alive, right? Now listen to me, you lost son of a good man. Let me warn you. The entire community is wired against you. The youths are monitoring you every step on the, of the way. If you continue on this path you're treading, you will leave us with no choice than to cripple you completely. Mark my words. They say you are a great man. That you are the best. That your charms are simply touch and go. Some even say you are a god in human form. Yet, you had the guts to scam me of my money. I am definitely going to cut off your tongue, but not before I understand exactly what you mean by what you have just said. You played me. You scammed me. Alushaw Baludikeku. You played me for a fool. You scammed me of my money. Now, let's think again. I will not only cut off your tongue. Your two eyes will also be plucked out by me. If you refuse to tell me why you are here and what you mean by what you are saying. What do you mean what I mean? If you have served me properly, will I still be here? Somebody moved your pot of charm. And guess what? He is still alive! What do you say? Did I speak Chinese? Or have you suddenly gone deaf? Somebody lay the finger on my pot and yet nothing happened to that person. And he still lived to tell the tale. He did not only move your pot of charm. He crushed it completely. And the reports from people around there is that he left the scene freely with his two legs. Even the Jew. Even the Jew. Somebody crushed and pieces my pot of sham. Chupu Kadibia. No, no, no. It is not possible. What do you mean by that? Something I confirmed with my two eyes. Or do you want me to take you there so that you can see it yourself? That he pieces your pot of jam. <laughs> I am no longer interested in this. Please, Chuku Kadibia, whatever you call yourself. I need my money back. Now, somebody pieces and crush my pot of shan. Okay, let's see. You also somebody. 
Now, move that pot. Excuse me. You heard me loud and clear. Adema Abuegu Choki. If you can move that pot, I will give you your money back without wasting time. Okay. What kind of joke is this? The pot is empty. I know it's empty, but move it. It is stuck. It is not. Move it. What is the meaning of this? I only asked you to give me my money and not ask me to move an empty pot. Please, try harder and move the pot. Just harder. Move it. To show you how powerful I am. Anime could not go more. Nobody, born of a woman, can move my pot of shark without my permission. <laughs> hey! Oba Krina na maba nubu. Nemo mosele mugosi mkesi ewo. Osem piana mwada. Mewo yewo. Ona atoto. Makano no kili kili kana abanu kuose. Aba katapara na abo roisi no kaba sini kedo nye mudele. Eja ane ya kana ole kwenye akarabu weso. Oro nkete na azu na fiu den wede na azu wa fia. Kwa na ageti we mubu gen. Ano na nkete kane eti. Ano nubu anu nuzu kose. Ewe na choke da anu gabo eze. Dede bie. Abo ichu mwane ebu oku kabune eze umu digo. Sa azbo kwenda oku chero oye na fana kwane ekeni ya mambu. A boy too many bung and Kriga sort of one dog who tell him Mount Oporia, or the cab or a moa which you put Cadibian for. A bomb moa which you put Cadibian Veteranian Wakamba. A bomb moa which you put Cadibian, my bomb, my little wine, the Macani, may I know from Mobulu, we are female now, Koya Kofa, poor folk. Let him over his own way, you might walk. Yet in the end, you can. I met you, Bane, I met you, Bano, Waka, Muneke, Wolf, and no one who has a cotta nassi, Kedano, I got bread, or the count. As you call, I know it's in me, and I hear you quickly. If I can't to cook a deep, I jano, he will be quickly. To cook a deep, a bomb, he will be quickly. And then a man or dinner, but can do it. Of fundamental and legged account. Yes, have it there. This is simply nothing but a trap. If he dares come within 24 feet of it, he will be a dead man. Yes. What if it does not work this time? Ah. <laughs> that means I am not Chuku Kadibia that I am. I hope you live up to your name this time. Tuku Karibia. Only not to 
Who is doing this to me? Did they get this power that is challenging me, even to my soul? Chupu mm. Katibia. Where did they get this power? Startled me. Where are you coming from? Coming from where I have gone to take care of a situation. Just turn and go back. I beg your pardon. You know where I'm going to write. And that is why I'm asking you to turn back and go home. And never to return to that central junction for whatsoever reason. Leave the merchant of death to face their death. Oh, if you, are you saying my life has been threatened? If you had gotten to that junction before me, with the zeal I see in your eyes, you would have repeated the same things you've been doing. You will have been a dead man. What? Yes. That is why you should never go close to that central junction again. 
The fight is no longer yours, but mine. Obuefi, you do know I'm not going to let this slide, right? I'll heed your advice. But I can't wait to hit him where it hurts the most. The totality of the saw masquerade radiates in your eyes. I hope you will keep it cool. Wanza, what are you doing in my house? You tried the first time and failed woefully. Are you so desperate you had to try again? If you have anything to say, say it to my face, man to man. Well, I absolutely have nothing to say. Odema, since you have nothing to say, you have to listen to what I have to say. I equally do not want to listen to the total. Hey, Bema! I think if Bema won't come on that no. The total calculated bill is two hundred thousand naira. What is that supposed to mean? Are you mistaking me for your banker? That is your fine for polluting our land with those pots of charm. Once I do not understand. First, you destroy my properties, and now you want me to pay for them. The money will be used to banish all the demons you imported into our space and to cleanse this land of your charms. Oh, that sounds very good. Now I understand. Well, I am going to pay the money, but you have to be dead first. Yes. I have actually brought war to you. Once you have no fear. First, you came into my house, and now you are waging war against Alusi of Baludi. <laughs> You are nothing and you will do nothing. If you do not pay that fine, I will perforate you. Don't pay that money, careful. think I was deadly as the cobra's neck. Wakam. There is no doubt about it. They said I can create thunder and the lightning without lifting a spin. That is also the truth. Today. Today. I am here to prove it all. Okay. 
Here he comes, the one gifted by the gods, but has allowed fools to mislead him. I have been waiting. Now listen, you old wizard. I don't want to know where you are coming from or even what you are up to. Listen, beware, beware. I am here to do what I am engaged to. So, mind your business and don't get involved in what We're I am doing. standing here and waiting for your court's arrival. I am doing my business. Fear me with that nonsense. Ah, I am Chuku Kalibia. I fear no evil. Listen, what is your business here? Be careful. Be careful. Chuku Kadibia. Chuku Kadibia. <laughs> Look, you have allowed people to mislead you. And yet, you claim to be a Tibia. You are nothing, nothing but a useless, unsettled man. Spare me with that nonsense, I don't care. Do you know where I am coming from? Listen, you can call me an evil, I don't bloody care. Call me whatever you like. Aha! My big. my baby. My baby is usually here. My baby! My baby! Mama! 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 Who has seen my baby? I wanted to go out with my baby and I can't find my baby anywhere. Baby? Yes, my baby! My horse! I see, that's why I see you have, you have gone insane. Your baby, your horse. It is my baby! What are you talking about? Well, once they came here earlier this morning and took it away, he said you're owing the youths of this kingdom. And your baby, like you call it, will be used to offset your bill. I'm about to have a heart attack. Mama, I thought you were my mother. You were supposed to protect me! You were supposed to protect me, protect my baby! Now you just want her! I'm going to kill that boy.
I asked you to pay 200,000 Naira as fine for polluting the whole kingdom with your charms. You refused. Anyways, I have given your horse to my boys to sell. What? Wednesday? How can you give my horse to the youth to sell? Where is my horse? Bring my horse now, else! Else what? You will kill me again like you attempted. Yes, you know. I thought by this time you begin to reason like a human being and mind the things you say. Okay. Fine. Where is my horse? I will give you the 200,000 naira. It. What do you mean by that? It has already been sold. Sold what? Your horse has been sold. Honestly, sold what? As if you were not the one I, I, I told to pay 200,000 a joke. Now you are looking for it. Listen, let me tell you. We have sold your horse for 350,000 naira. 200,000 belongs to the youth of the community. This is your balance of 150,000. What? Wait, 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 wait. My baby. You sold my baby for 350,000 naira. And now you are giving me change. Mm -hmm. One day, I will kill you. I'll be back. Let me go give you this man. for me. I will be back. Then why will you sell my baby? Why? For what? My baby, my baby, how can you, my man call a, a horse his baby? Come and take part of your baby, come part of your baby, can't you like her? Come and take part of your... Hello? Look, stop calling me. Stop it, I don't like it. This is not love, it's obsession. Look, we have to move on already. You are a man. Are you trying to tell me there are no beautiful girls out there? Don't you have eyes to see them? Stop it, please. You're disturbing my life. I don't like it. Please, stop. Mama. Hello? She's lying. All she's telling you is a lie. She's not happy here. In fact, she's suffering. Mama. Don't, don't mama me. In fact, you, you don't know me. But I'm the mother of the stupid boy she's dating. They've turned her into a punching bag. And from the way you're talking, I can see you really love her. And I think you can take care of her. Very good care of her. Please, come and take her away from here. Mama! Don't listen to whatever she's saying. Mama, this is not fair now. You are working for them, right? You have been working for them. That is why nothing has worked out. This has always been a game to you and I have been a pawn. You are not saying anything. Now the truth has come out. You have suddenly gone dumb. Isn't it? It is a terrible thing for one to limp before he goes. It is even more dangerous when the man doing the limping is a powerful man like you. Wolfie, are you insulting me? Hmm? On the contrary, I respect you. That is why I did not attempt to kill you yesterday when I broke your pot of charms. You bended you. So, you are the one. Mm -hmm. So it was you. Yes. Now, what do you want here? Are you threatening me? No. Chupo Kadibe. I am not threatening you. I only want people once. Then I go ahead and do what I want to do. Obefi, 
You are not making sense and you know it. Don't dare me. What? If you do that, Chuku Kadibe, then you must have made the biggest mistake of your life. I respect you just as you respect me. But today you are trying my patience. Go home, for this is not the kind of fight you want to get yourself involved. Still, you are trying my patience. It is dangerous for a man to limp before he looks. Chukuka Dibia, go home with your pot of charms and do the right thing. Now, listen. It is very, very dangerous for a man as powerful as I am to first of all leap before he moves. That was exactly the mistake I made with you. I first of all leap before looking. And now that I have finally taken that leap, I regret the very day I met with you. What? Take that and get out of my business before I set you up here. What is happening here? Do I need to repeat myself? I doubt that. What? Now listen. I didn't become the man that I am today by standing my hands. I am Chupu Kadibia. But you have insulted me much. And I don't think that I will ask you again to leave. First you scam me of my money. And now you are asking me to leave your house. Get out of my house. I will leave. But this isn't over. Yes, now. This is madness you, you trapped in the rod of the girls. Pick it and leave my face. Why are you fighting? Up and look I will leave. Well, like I said, I will be back. Get out of my car. Why are you fighting in your shadows? It is not far too late. For men to turn a new lane. God damn it! Man, 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 Hey, Okalak. Hey. Ah! You finish. Hmm. 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 Prodigal sons of Ugume Kingdom, are you really back with us? Or are you even now still hiding behind your mother's wrappers? Ugume Please, don't insult us. That you are the chief priest of this kingdom does not give you the power to do that. So please, don't. Um, <clears throat> we are simply here because this madness has gone on long enough. Bam! That is true. Exactly. 
you say that the gods have made their choice. When we ask you to reveal the person, you say that the time was not ripe for that. So we decided to keep our cool and wait. Then one madman started terrorizing the entire kingdom and everyone in it for a chieftaincy title. We even expected that to push you into telling us who that one man is. But he didn't. It didn't. With your corner. You did you decided to do or see nothing while Vincent changed his name to Obaludikegu and started terrorizing every single elder he could find. We left the council for we feared for our lives. And now, why are you back? Obuefi, we are back because Ugume Kingdom has gone on too long without a king. We want to put a stop to this. It's very ugly. Unheard of. So you think that... We are not idiots, Obuefi. We know that we need an Oba to be able to crown a king. So we are here to demand that either you choose Oba Ludikegu mm. as the Oba, mm. or you give the title to someone else. Uh -uh. Because a kingdom without a king is nothing but a vast piece of land. And that is just the truth. Oh, of course, you know that. In other words, both of you want me to go ahead of the gods and do your biddings, right? We are simply asking you to do something urgently and savage the land. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have not done anything wrong. Do you know who is doing well as the acting king? The best thing for you to do is to help Do know who by putting in your own very best as it is. Do you know that it is a sin before Chukwokike for Full grown Ugume men to be cowards. Yeah, are you, yeah. Are you calling uh, us cowards? Yeah. Uh, 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 so you call us cowards? Imagine. Really? Actually, foolish is the best words to describe both of you. Can you find your way out of my compound right now, or do I need to blow you away? <clears throat> Women parading themselves as titled men of Ogume. Thousand naira, complete money. Give me back my baby. Take. Oh boy, it's too late. I told you your baby has been sold already. Didn't you get that from our last discussion? Oh yes, you told me that. This is simple arithmetic. Two hundred thousand plus the one hundred and fifty thousand remaining from the money you sold. The other time, you still have it. 
Take them together. It is 350,000 naira. Give it back to whosoever you sold my horse to and get my baby back for me. Please, take. This is the money. It is not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? Your baby is no longer in this village. What? What are you talking about? Accept my condolence. Mwanza! I should accept your condolence mm -hmm. when I'm talking about my baby. Mwanza! I promise you I will kill everybody involved in this. I will kill all the youths of this village because of you, Mwanza. I will wipe everybody out. Again? I promise you that. How dare you? Wait a minute, to answer. Uh, okay, maybe you should give me the house address of whosoever you sold the horse to. <laughs> I will go there and collect my horse back. My way is a long journey. That horse, it was sold by my boys to somebody. Who took it further down and sold to someone else? And that person sold it to another person. And that person took it to another village and sold it to a woman. Hey! Yes! Was it? Yes, the woman took it to the market, tried to sell it for some people. They bought it, wanted to use for sacrifice. It wasn't working. They gave it to another man who took it to another village and sold it. Now the baby is having running stomach. They say they don't know what to do. My baby! For sacrifice! Was it? My baby for Suya! My baby! My baby! My baby! Allah, 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 baby, that is this man. I'll tell you I am a warlord and only an idiot tries to face a warlord. Every day chap, every day chap, today you will drop chap. Tomorrow we will come to another new one and drop. Why should he be polluting the entire kingdom with his pot of charms? Why? I thank God for one's enkindling. I am telling you. I'm telling you. For the fact I enjoy his money. Okay. He is automatically crazy. Not only crazy, he is mad. On Ayala. But my question is. Uh, not only crazy, he is mad. On Ayala. But my question is, uh, if Obefi Okuna refuses to crown or baludike with the next Oba, yeah. who then would be the Oba of Ogume Kingdom? You see? Hmm? You see? The, the whole thing is getting out of hand. <laughs> see, if I knew the answer, hmm, I would have gone to him and looked for a way to swindle out money for myself. Hi, my goodness. Lack of money is a big disease. For the God created money just to punish human beings. Hi! My baby! My baby! My baby! Ha. My baby! Ha. Have any... Have any of you old men seen my baby? My hopes! Of course! The only thing that makes me stand out in Ugume Kingdom. Have you seen it? Abadikai, you are confusing us the more. You are always with a horse. <laughs> you two are very useless. I will go find my horse. I swear I will kill everyone in this village if I do not find my horse. It is more important to me than you, Moro. Don't, don't you see now that he's a madman? How can a man of Ugume Kingdom Call a horse his baby. To be named the next sober <laughs> kingdom. Who will crown the next king? You see? A, a madman can never rule us. Hey, let me see that woman. That woman I told you. Did you are like a daughter to me. I will always tell you the truth. Mama, even if he gives me the world at his fingertip, I will still not leave my mark for him. I will not do it. I'm not that kind of girl. 
I know. I sincerely wish you would be my daughter-in-law. But my son does not deserve a woman like you. Mama, I know Vincent has his excesses. But I love him and that's enough for me. Love is enough when it's mutual. Mama, what are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. That's not the truth and you know it, Mama. Says a woman who has shut her eyes from the truth. Despite the fact that the truth is staring at her in the face. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? This is what you always wanted, right? No, this is what you always wanted. You called yourself my mother. Yet you watched them take my baby away from me. I'm going to kill her. married to that woman so she has no business in my house if you ever dare bring her back to this house you and I know what I'm capable of I will kill her Wednesday. Oh. You see, he may eventually want to kill somebody because of that house. Eh? Hey. Hey. Eh? That will give us enough reason to jail him forever. Already he has destroyed himself by going to challenge the priest of the land. We will not glorify him with a meeting. Don't worry your life. It's not as if we're discussing him. We're only strategizing on what to do in case, since we know he's a madman. He might. He might go violent. That's my own. I will not say anything until the time comes. Enjoy your drink. Manze, the drink is not the problem. I know, I know I'm sounding like this. So. There's nothing to sound like. I don't know what to say. I'm going to say baby. Drink! Thank you, boy. Hey. Hmm. Um, did the gods choose me to become the next Oba of Ugume Kingdom? Where is that coming from? Yes or no? No. You are definitely not the Oba of Ugume Kingdom. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Look, you might be all kind of great things, but you are definitely not the Oba. Of Ugume. Exactly. This is exactly what I'm talking about. What then do you mean I can be all kinds of great things? Why do I have this feeling you woke up from the wrong side of the bed? That's not the situation, Obuefi. I have this feeling you and my father are hiding something from me. But what I don't understand is why you are both bent on sitting on that secret even when all things are falling apart. If I am not the next stopper, and Vincent is not the next stopper, then who is? Go home, son. Mind your business. I feel.
You find yourself in a compound that isn't yours. Find someone who's actually keeping the place tidy, and then you demand the person's identity. Something is actually wrong with your general orientation. I beg your pardon. Have you managed to understand your mistakes or we should make this a proper class? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I should be the one asking you that. Who are you? Is this your house? No, madam. Then who are you and what do you want? <laughs> Where is Ibezim? Ibezim! Ibezim! Hey! Lower your voice! Ibezim, where are you? Can you imagine the way you're shouting his name? Who are you? Who is she? Sweetheart, mm. this is Obiageli, a woman I used to know. Oh. What? Used to? Apunawu. Baby. Obiageli, this is Apunawu, the lady after my heart. <laughs> Wait, you... What he's trying to say is that I am his fiance. We're getting married very soon. <laughs> you know you can't do this to me, right? Yeah, finally I found a woman who's ready to marry me. Very ready. Listen. Where are you going with that plate? I'm hungry. I want to get food. So? See where love has landed you, Mama. Don't mama me. Don't mama me, Joma. I beg you not to go and live with a man who has not paid your price, bride price. Did you listen? Now nah, he has used you and sent you back to me like a piece of used rag. Mama, this is not fair. Hey, hey, don't damn remind me that I'm your mother. Hey, Joma. When I was of your age. I was already married. I was no longer in my mother's house, begging for food from his, from her arms. Ijoma, if you are hungry, go out. Go and look for food. Not in my kitchen. Mama, I'm your child. Mm -hmm. This, this thing you're doing to me is no, is no fair. And I regret that you are my child every day. I regret it, Ijoma. Come on, get out. Go away. Looking for food to eat every time. Come and eat. Hey, Dama, come and eat food. Hey, Chie, I'm, I'm surprised you say you know nothing about this. Look, you have forgotten I've washed my hand of this case a long time ago. I don't understand this question you are asking me and I don't have an answer for it. Ichie, of all the members of the elders in council, you were the only one who supported my father against that fool who calls himself Obaludike Guto and still fearing people. There must be a reason for that. Point of correction. I do not support anybody in this issue. But that was because he later threatened your daughter. Great. We're on the same page now. Tell me the truth, please. If I had the slightest idea of who the next Oba of this kingdom is, I wouldn't be here hiding and praying that Vincent will completely forget my daughter exists. What? He said that to you? He actually said many things, and I'm sure he will still be moving around collecting more information. You know, the young man actually confronted me, but I did not say anything to him. Mm. Nothing. I didn't say anything to him. I really don't know how to explain this to him. Why are the gods delaying the, this process? You know, I, I, is, it, is it that they are waiting for the purchase of the people to weigh off? Before they will do, do something. Um, my friend, you know I don't always interfere with the gods because I know that the gods are wise. Yes, I know. I, I agree with you that they are wise. But uh, we are dealing with a young man who may most likely make a very ter terrible mistake if you fail to call him to order. Mm -mm. He won't. He won't? Why would you say that? Uh, I don't know. But all I know and can say now is that very soon this thing will be in the past.
Hello. You are in Ugume now. Unfortunately, she has gone back to her father's house. Okay, bye. Why do I suddenly feel I met that man somewhere before? It's so annoying and frustrating. Can we do anything about it? Of course we can. We can. The man had the guts to call us fools and cowards. I don't blame him. I just hope that this kingdom and everything in it fall apart. That is my wish, Ichi. That way, we feel one now we answer to everyone. And that Useless secret of his will finally be exposed. Exactly. But I can't help but wonder. I can't help but wonder. Me too, my friend. Seeing the Onowu today confirmed my worst fears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is that everyone is getting tired of the suspense. Nonsense! And the future of this kingdom becoming something of doubt. Is it just me? Or does that young man passing by us seem familiar? Yes. Something about his face. Yes. Whose son is he? I don't think he is from this kingdom. You know, I don't even see his face. I don't understand. How I found you. Your ex mother in law called. The mother of the tyrant that kicked you out of his life without knowing your value. I can't believe this. Apparently, I think she stole my number from your phone. Turns out that Apple can still fall far from the tree. She's nothing like her son. She violated my privacy. I think that was another thing. 
That woman loves you like a daughter. That's why she called me. So why didn't you tell me that Vincent was the new man in your life? It seems you know him very well. Baby, don't look too well to me. What's going on with you? Please tell me about it. You're not supposed to be here. My love, I'm... I'm here to stay. Unless you're coming home with me. I don't want to go home with you. Since the woman who decorated my bed and my living room herself. And I regret that every minute of the day. I'm sorry, my love. I know that I hurt you so much. I know I don't deserve you, but give me a second chance. I'm deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. You should go home. My love, please. I'm sorry. Mama. Uh, Who are you? Mama, greetings. Uh, sorry, ma, I, I didn't see you come. Sorry. Uh, greetings, Mama. Who are you? Mama, I'm... And you know what? I don't care one way or the other. Are you here to marry her? Because that is the only way I will consider her a human being again. Mama. Shut your trap. Young man. Listen. You look, you look uh, as if you come from the, from the city. So, if you so dare that I see you take my daughter close to anywhere around this kingdom without her bright prize lying in my hands, I will find you and I will kill you. I don't understand, Mama. If you won't give me food, why do you still want me in your house? Wait, is she talking to of me? Of course I'm talking to you. Please. Look at her. Look at her. Then gen gen. Oh, una gen una. Please. Oh, una gen. I want to kill her. Mama, you can't oh do that. Please. Hey. She's your daughter. My daughter. I know she's my daughter. And that is why I have not killed her yet. If you have allowed me, I will have killed her. <laughs> Honestly, it's you or I I don't even know what to say. You see, he accused me of a lot of things I don't understand. Eh? Please make me understand. What is happening? You really feel I know something? Something I don't know about. Please make me understand. Tell me. Listen to me. You, this is very wrong. You don't have to go now. Who are you to tell me what is and what is not a good idea? I am not just a woman. I am Apple now, and you should listen to me. I am not going to listen to you. Please, don't go. Please. I'll be right back. Really? What are you doing here? Please leave my house. Obiageli, I simply came to grant you the courtesy as a woman I used to consider my own. Courtesy? Yes, courtesy. Sorry, I didn't tell you that I was planning to settle down. Even though you turned down my offer, of making you my wife, as I thought it wise to let you down. Now I know. 
You can leave. Obiageli, you don't have to be rude. Let me ask, why were you at my house today? None of your concern now. Ibezim, leave my house. I will leave. Just take care of yourself. Just get out. You know you are a bastard, right? <laughs> I know. No, you know you are a bastard. Vincent, ah! the Obaludi Kewu, the chief terrorist of Ugume Kingdom. Are you actually working on food? Once, I'm going to kill you. I am going to kill you once. Ah! You are killing me a long time ago. <laughs> You see that masquerade mm. that you went to bring back to life to protect you yeah. so you can insult your chief, not me. I am going to destroy it and kill you slowly. <laughs> I promise you this once. I will burn it and kill you slowly <laughs> once. <laughs> Where's your baby? Get one of your baby. Once I am going to kill you. I assure you that I will kill you. You have been telling me that. Allah <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Bimba Made! Ichi is your question of Ugume. I greet you. Where are you coming from? If I give you the answer you need, will you give me the answer I need? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Not as much. What's that? Mama, Mama, let's take it, please now. If this is the trick you want to use to get me to like you, it will not work. It won't work. Lie, lie. Mama, Jack. I'm your son, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Mama. Is it not always the lie? You finish enjoying my daughter now. You will return her back to me like a piece of used rug. Rag. Uh, Mama, with due respect, I will not have anyone call my woman a rag. I'm sorry. Please. Eh? Uh, tell me something I've not heard. <sighs> Mama, I love your daughter. I know Vicente must have said the same thing. But I don't care. If you like, take me anywhere. I will swear to that. Are you not the young man she dated the last before coming to this village? Yes, Mama. So you are the one that messed my daughter up? Mama, how could you say a thing like that? You know what I'm saying? Which is that right? Hey! You got tired of eating onubu soup? Then you, you you want to combine it with okra and the gusi. Hey, 
Mama, you are missing the point. Look me, look me, look at me, look my face and deny that what I'm saying is not the truth. Mama, I did not cheat on her. You did. Because cheating is the basic for a relationship to be broken. Mama, you are getting everything wrong. I did not cheat on your daughter. If you did not cheat on her, then you were beating her. You were beating my child in the city. And that is worse. Mama, you're getting everything wrong. Mama, I did not. I can't even see myself beating a woman. Then why did you break up? Can you hear me with you, Mama? Mama. I've been wearing your ring for almost two years now. What is going on? You don't longer find me attractive. You're not into me anymore. Look, if you don't want this relationship, just enough. Tell me. Enough. Why don't you let this be? I won't. Because each time we fix a date to see my family, you always disappoint me, and I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I have apologized countless times, and I said I'm sorry. You know I had an emergency. What was I supposed to do? Why are you lying to me? We both know you didn't have any emergency because I called. You, you, you did what? You called my office? Yes. And I was told you took a day off. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> now I know that you don't trust me. Oh, please. Don't even try to turn the table around, Ogo. If you don't want this relationship, say it! Because I will not sit I here- I cannot marry a woman from Ukuma Kingdom, and that is it! What did you just say? Over my dead body will I marry from that place! Ugo. We've been together for almost five years. Why are you telling me this now? Why didn't you tell me this all this while? So, so what am I doing with your ring? See, I, I know. I know we've been together for so long. That, that's why I find it so difficult proposing to you. Okay, and then you proposed? So, so, so why did you propose in the first place? Why are you declining now? I love you. I love you, but I can't. I can't. Do, I can't marry you. Just like that. Just like that, Ogo. See, I can give you everything life can offer. I can. I can give you everything, but you see, marriage is out of it. Is is way out of it. Ugo, do you have a problem with women from Ugume Kingdom? Answer me. That question is personal. I can answer it. Personal? Too personal for me? After everything? Ugo! I love you, but I cannot kill for you. I won't. I'm sorry. Sorry. Kill. You can't kill. And that was it, Mama. The next morning she was gone. The engagement ring I gave to her, I found it on my table. And now, why are you back? Since you clearly have problem with the Gume women, what are you still doing with my daughter? In fact, what are you doing in my house? Mama, firstly, I love your daughter very much. That's the first answer to your question. And the second answer to your question. I don't have any problem with Tugume women. 
Okay. You don't have any problem with the Ngume women. Then why did you not want to marry my daughter? Because I never want to step my leg into this village again. What? I mean... I love you, daughter, and, and, and that's it. Um, and I bet you withdraw her from when I was coming to this place. I, I want you to hold this for a while. Are um, you trying to bribe me? No, Mama, I'm trying to play a role of your son-in-law. That's what I'm doing. I'm not bribing you, Mama. You are mysterious. I wonder. I am still finding it difficult to know if you love my daughter or not. I love your daughter and, and that's the truth and God knows. And that's the best answer I can give you for now. I really do not have anything to tell you. Or you have, but you don't want to share. <laughs> um, the last time you came here, Ichi, you were afraid of your daughter's life. And you told me point blank that you are in full support of Obaludike's desire to become the next Oba. Has that changed? My feelings does not have anything to do with why I'm here. And you want me to trust you? I want you to give me answers that I have right to. And answers that the whole citizens of Ugume Kingdom have right to. And I would. If those answers really exist, it's your Anilo. Go home and leave matters that belong to the gods, for the gods alone. She doesn't intend to marry. It beats my imagination. <laughs> Did you come here to insult me? No, not at all. Well, I can't help but wonder. Thank you for bringing my things. You may leave now. You're welcome. And yes, I'm leaving. <laughs> a lot more younger, sexier than he is, finds him attractive. He is so delicious. Do you know that? You are tempting me. Don't worry. You are pushing me. Don't worry. And don't go further. I'm leaving already. <laughs> it took just one night. Do you know? Just one night. I mean, one night with Chief Ibezim, and I already know that he was the man for me. <laughs> you just confirmed my suspicion. About what? That you were cheap slot. <laughs> cheap slot? Yet. I'm getting married to your man. And you're invited. Just get out. It would be nice to have you, baby. <laughs> Slaps, that's what you are. Oh my god! <laughs> Nonsense.
Are you going out? What do you think? Where to? Where to? Uh, so we only get to talk now, just when you are curious to know of my agenda for the day. Wednesday, it is not working with me. Uncle? Mother money was way too extreme. Look, I need my time alone. I want to be left alone. Please. Oh, go stop following me. I want to be left alone. Don't you get it? What is wrong with you? No, tell me what is wrong with you. You said it with your mouth that you don't want to marry any woman from Ugume Kingdom. Now you're stalking one. Even when I said that, I didn't believe it in my heart. IG, I'm sorry. I know you're angry with me. You have every right to be angry with me. But know it today that anywhere you go, I go. What? You're a madman. You know that, right? Exactly. Because everybody working on this earth that is in love is insane. Abu Moisi Motonyala, right now. My God. Iche, are you alright? Come. You cannot just wait. This can be true. Hey, it can be. Hey, Jay, we need to leave this village right now, please. Please, let's go. We need to leave this village, please. Oh, what now? Oh, where's your what now? Oh, where's it? I'm going to go with you. Oh, where's your what now? I have seen a ghost as I was walking along the, the road. I just a ghost. Can you calm down? Yeah, it's not, no, it's not a ghost. There's a ghost that is walking. It's, 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 it's a ghost. It's, it's a ghost. It's here, Sonia. I hope this is not the beginning of my ghost. I'm aware, huh? Yeah. No, I just came in. I'm waiting for his call. <laughs> yes. I'll have to come. Where is it? 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 What is going on? Where is it? What? What? Where is it? Where is it? What is what? Where is what? What is the problem? Where is it? What are you looking for? Tell me, I might help you. I told you that I have proof. Look at it. This is my proof. I saw him. You saw him? Yes, I saw him. Today. Then, there is what we all believe that he is dead. But I saw him today. Another judge on that day. You, I'm telling you. Stop looking at me as if I'm crazy. I know what I am saying. I saw him today. You can come with me. Let me show you the judge where I saw him. That's my name. Let me show you where I saw him. Why, why, why are you doing this? No, why do you find it so difficult to believe, believe me? I know what I am saying. I know, I know what I am saying. So then, you just puffed him. Then they were no longer there. Does not mean that I, I don't know what I am saying. They were standing there, I saw them. Ah, Sonia, this man is dead. Ha! Ha! Oh. They're looking at everywhere for you. What is going on? What did you take from my house? Your late husband's picture. Huh? <laughs> Look at it. This is what I took from your husband's house. I took it because I saw him. I saw him and I came to take the picture. I saw him standing at that junction with uh, each woman. Uh, it's his daughter, the one that dated uh, your son. I saw them standing 
at, at that junction down there. You saw his job with my husband. Yes. How is that even possible? Ha. No, uh, 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 can you please stop misleading this woman? I know what I am saying that I saw this man. I saw, you know what? Can we go to your mother's house? Irresponsible, we will see them there. Can we go to your mother's house? Baby, you can see them there. Go to your mother's house. Because at Nayo. Can we? Have I not been vindicated? I want to know your homeland, as in, where are you from? Ugo, this is the priest of Ugume Kingdom. You cannot ignore him. You are not saying anything, son. I didn't give birth to more than one child. Otherwise, I would have said you're my son. So please tell us, who are you? Uh, listen, sir, uh, it is not as if we are interrogating you. We are not. We are asking you these questions because uh, we want you to help us solve a problem. Where are you from? See, uh, if you must know, I'm from Osaka in Enugu State. Are you satisfied? Really? That, that's where it's from. Suka. You think you know him well? Probably not as much as you think. Nay, what are you talking about? He's from Usuka. I know him very well. Oh. You forget you are speaking to the priest who ministers on the staff of our ancestors. On the same land, you are breathing the air. I will ask you once again, where are you from? Ugo, tell him the name of the village. Tell them your family members. Just prove to them that you are from Musuka. It will solve the problem. You're not saying anything. See, I'm out of here. Cross this line if you can, and we will allow you to go anywhere you choose. What nonsense. What nonsense. I said it. I said it that this man is not good for my daughter. Hey! Why do you always go for the wrong kind of man? I don't die because what is wrong? Enough, with woman. What kind of dirty game are you men playing with me? I don't know why I should lose my grip and fall. See, I'm not an evil man. I've not done anything that will qualify as a vulnerable act. I'm not a bad person. I never said that you are. I only asked you not to cross the line. Ugo, is there something you're hiding from us? I think the young man has a lot to tell us. Listen, if I were you, I would have opened up the very minute my woman pleaded with me that I was up against the priest of a kingdom as elevated as Ugo the kingdom. I am still surprised you continue to lie.
If you're not from Musaka, then, then where are you from? wife gave birth to a male child who eventually died. He was killed by wild animals. I knew it. I knew it. The resemblance. So striking. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a very big story looming in the air, waiting to burst all over us. And I doubt we can carry the weight standing. Why don't you begin by introducing yourself to us, son? My name is. I should have put two and two together. You're right, mother. My name is Obina Ugobuzwe Anya Chabela. That is exactly his name. So why do you bear the middle name instead of the first? It's a very long story. A very, very long story. Well, uh, as you can see, we are all seated and we have all day. As you all now know, I was not killed by any white animal. It's Vincent, my brother, who tried to kill me. What? What? Obegeli, is it you trying to defend your son that is incapable of? Killing anyone. Tell, because if it is, then you, you tell us everything. It all started when we were growing up. My brother Vincent did not understand the concept of brotherly love. I've already eaten the better part of it. Ah, why will you do that? That's so wrong. Anyway, give me another step. Oh! Oh! Why will you do that? It's very simple. Every Sense. day I wake up and see you, I feel like killing myself. Really? See, you Hi. will never amount to anything. You did that it. At first, I thought it was childish attitude until my brother Vincent showed me the other side of him. Why? Why are the police dead to work on me? There Why? is no peace for a wicked person, especially one who refuses to accept the fact that you have no place in this family. There were times I couldn't explain it. I thought it was a major loss because you were your father's favorite. I know I gave birth to a stubborn son. So I, di I didn't bother 
I didn't pay attention to it because I know your father loved you both. You're right, mother. Jealousy. Jealousy was never a word with which described Vincent. At least, not after the day he finally showed me the stuff he was made of. It happened after the water incident. I told my father that I wanted to leave the house. You did that? Yes. My mother was dead. And my brother, who I love so much, was treating me like a slave. I needed peace. I thought to myself I need to go to my mother's place so I can stay there and have my own peace. I treated you well. I treated you like my own child. Yes, you did, mother. But your son's behavior towards me made me doubt the love you have for me sometimes. Because my father discouraged me, making me to understand that I miss her. And Vincent overheard everything. And suddenly one day, he came to me and apologized for everything he has done to me. It was so strange. But then it made me realize how deadly my brother could be. What happened next was what changed the course of everything. I know you're less busy today. And also know that you can help me learn it well. How do you want to learn? I want to learn how to catch all these small, small rodents sneaking in the bush. So I'll be eating it every day. You're the son of Oba. You have enough meat here. Ah. I can't finish them. And you don't need the knowledge. You're also the son of the Oba. You have the knowledge. Please teach me. I'm begging you. No problem. If you're ready, we can go. I will teach you. Really? Yes. Thank you so much. No, you can share, you can share. No, 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 no. Mama said this for only. No, let's take share, let's share. Mama said this, eat it. Okay, thank you. Don't be honest. Ah. Ah. 
Only help. Ah. Idiot. I see you're very mad at him. For your mind, you're not my elder. Oh. You see me for your mind. Idiot. Oh, she don't even call my name. Help me, please. Me, the, the worst part is that your presence in my family has made me an outcast. Oh. And that's not right, oh, though. Help me. See, my parents gave birth to me. And only me. Why you, on the other hand, belong to a dead woman? Oh, you help me. Oh, you don't go. Dev, don't call my name. Don't call my name. Don't, don't call oh, my you. name. Oh, you help me. Oh, you don't go. Oh, you. Chief. Oh, you. I should help you. Let me tell you, I'm already helping you. By reuniting you with your mother. So. Oh, you. Go and meet your mother in the land of the dead. Oh, you please help me. Why are you? Oh, you please, oh, you don't go. Oh, you. Ah. Ah. How could I not know? He came home that day acting strange. When the day ended, your father and I became worried. And when we asked him about you, he denied knowing your whereabouts. Well, uh, Obi, I knew it. I knew it from the very beginning that that your son, you better, is a monster who is capable of doing everything and anything. We couldn't find you. We decided to send a search party. I guess he suspected something and then came up with a plan. Yeah, 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 Vincent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Why are you crying? <laughs> On my way home, I saw my brother's remain, and he was devoured by a wild animal. Timo! Oh. Did you tell your parents? No, I was just on my way to go and tell them. Hi! My yeah. brother! Help! Oh. It was when we concluded that you were dead. That you must have been killed by a wild animal. I will tell you what he did. He went back to the bush where he kept my body. When he got there, my body was no longer there. He had to come up with a story that I was killed by a white animal. <clears throat> Everybody had no choice but to believe him. Exactly. Yeah. We believed that he was actually devoured by the white animal. Mm. Mm. Okay. Why didn't you tell me all this? Did you have to hurt me just to protect your secret? No, my love. When I left the kingdom that day, I vowed never to return. I had this strong feeling that my life will always be in danger. Vincent, my brother is evil, so I have to keep my distance. But that has changed now. All that has changed. Says who? I don't feel safe here. I only came back here because of the woman I love. This is your land. This is your home. Not anymore, mother. That's all right. I think you can go. That is not fair. Why not? That's what the young man wants. So, are you serious? I can, I can go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can teach you. You can see it. It's all gone. You are free. 
As you can see, it's all gone. You are free. No, that is not fair, Wolfie. But that's what the young man wants. Are you serious I can go? Uh, well, but before you go, I have something that belongs to you. After the death of your father, you also lost our kingdom. Ugube kingdom became in desperate need of an army. Because you cannot crown a king without an order. According to tradition, Obaladike, your brother, was supposed to take over the position from your father. But the gods of our ancestors rejected him. <laughs> they rejected him completely. We kept wondering why. Now we know why. Initially, I did not know why. But when I looked closely, and each time I spoke to the gods, they always asked me to be patient. And when I looked closely at your brother, I discovered a very dark aura about him. That was when I knew for sure that I was never going to be the other. Uh, not only he will, he, will he never be the other. Based on the atrocity he has committed in this land, mm. we will not make it possible for him to become. In fact, not we are no longer talking about the Oba. He cannot be the Oba, but he will not even be able to become ordinary a chief in this kingdom. Yes. Then, and the gods told me that when I see the Oba, I will know him. <laughs> this is for you. Take it. What is this? This is the same horn your father used as a symbol of authority when he was over. It is now yours. Do not say anything, my son. This is something that belongs to your father. Something my son Vincent wanted all his life. Mm -hmm. Now, you have it. Do not turn it down. You can either continue running or stay back and face your fears head on. say but the look on your face says otherwise hello little brother what did you just call me so even by looking at his face you did not see anything familiar why would I yeah I, I, the child is just just a disgrace to the father and the family so, so glaring. What did you just say? Swear you didn't hear it. Swear. No! Wait. It can't be. Yes! And yes! You are supposed 
to be dead. I. You what? Dear brother. You what? Don't come close to me. Why? You are afraid that I'm a ghost? Can somebody tell me what's going on here? Question for the gods. You tried to kill your brother, but failed woefully. Now he is back to claim his rightful position as the upper of Rukumeke now. Now! You lie! I am the only Oba of Ugume Kingdom! Not even you or anyone else can stop me! I have it. And I'm about to stay! That is supposed to be mine. You are indeed an extremely foolish man. How dare you? You cannot rob me of my birthright! That will be over my dead body! Ah! Ah! Calm down, woman. Calm down. He is not dead. all over him. When he wakes up, he will wish that he is. He killed your husband. Do you know that? What? Hey. Hmm. 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 And for all that, he will wish for death and death to be very far from him. For killing the Oba of Ugumi Kingdom, he will suffer. And he will suffer the agony of loneliness. Anyone who elects to associate with him, to heal him of his loneliness, will become a partaker of the verdict of the gods. You say... You are the one who
according to order of nature. People must die before they transit. But in your own case, even the ground on which you reside has rejected you. Mama! Mama! Mama, please help me! For I now have an answer for the question you've been asking. What? Can you come and sit down? Is this a game or something? Because sincerely, I have a very important place to go to. Hey, listen. You see? All this while, the gods have been playing a kind of game on all of us. Fortunately, the game has come to an end and all of us won. Ichi, what are you talking about? Because I don't get anything from what you just said. Can you come and sit? So does it mean I've been forgiven? What do you think? Mm, I think... Uh... Listen, hold your hands for a while now. You've not asked me to leave your hand, you've not complained. And secondly, you've not asked me to leave, please, leave, leave us, leave us. Oh, mm. thank you. We feel good now. <laughs> I see you have told him. Yes, I did. I'm indeed shocked. We are all still shocked. Ah, uh, all the same, I have come to apologize, Obwefi, for all the things I said to you. But I didn't blame you for anything. Now I feel relieved, but. At the same time, I feel that a heavy burden has been placed on my shoulder. Ah. You are not alone. Never alone. Ichi, yeah, let's go inside. Oh, you don't, you don't. You don't, you don't. You don't, you don't. happening like a dream please if it is i don't want to wake up from it fortunately it's not it is reality and it's happening that's why i called you both as my closest friends to let you know <laughs> i am still screaming and i will continue to scream this whole village down hey hey <laughs> <laughs> How are you? All oh, good. I'm fine. I gathered your ex girlfriend wanted to commit suicide. Oh, yes, I was told. But she was talked out of it. But she doesn't have any reason to. Especially now that she has another son who's decent and accepted by all. 
and now he has become the new Oba. I am so happy for her. Same here. So that brings me to the topic. Now that her family is very relevant again, would you consider accepting her apology? That's if she apologizes. Maybe. Would you? Maybe. What the hell? Okay, Is that how to welcome your wife home? And you? Your stay in this house expires today. <laughs> I told you to walk. I never believed you. Imagine how crazy it sounds of my daughter acting like my wife. <laughs> you know what I just realized, Uncle? You just do not know more about women. I wonder how she will feel if she will reveal the whole thing to her. Well, let's find out. Anyway, contrary to what we told you earlier, she's my daughter, my younger brother's daughter. So she's my niece. I'm her uncle. You're her uncle. <laughs> she's your niece. You lied to me. You left me with no other option. Where you did what you did. I have missed you. <laughs> I have missed you. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Your staff of office. When I gave out this invitation today, I told you I was going to kill two birds with one stone. You did say that, but we are wondering what you mean. I invited you all here, not just to meet your Oba, but also to meet your king. I'm sorry, Obuefi, but I'm not sure we heard you correctly. You did. Ngobuzu, over to you. No matter what you do to him, People of Ugume Kingdom, Quen! Yeah! People of Ugume Kingdom, Quen! Yeah! People of Ugume Kingdom, Quen Zono! It is my great pleasure to introduce to you your king today. When is it? Neil. Aha. Eh? Come on. Who is it? Of Ugume Kingdom. 
Behold! Behold your king! I need you two to help me. Take me to another town. This kingdom is no longer conducive for me. I know when I go to another town, the pain will vanish. You are never going to leave this town, for you deserve every pain you are facing today. Remember the money I gave to you too. Remember all the good things I have done for you too. Remember them. Please, I need you two to help me. You can do that. You killed your only father after killing his son. But the bastard did not die. He did not die. He came back here to steal my offer. That is why I need to leave. So I can plan and come back. Please. Your babe is now married to the Oba. And your mother is now married to the one she loves. So you are all alone here. And you will discover what it means to die lonely. Oh yes. You planned on killing everyone so that you could be alone. Well, you are finally alone. Enjoy your loneliness. So this is how I am going to die alone in agony. What a sad end. <laughs> what a sad end. Attracting the rod of the gods 
Oh, boy, yes, sir.